now it's time to create our repository. If you have worked with Lubeck 3, you, you have noticed all these CRUD operations will be available on the model class. But in Lubeck 4, they have created a separate service class which is repository. It's a service, it provides the CRUD operation for your domain model. You can create a new repository by using this loopback for CLI. Yes, the data source which is DB data source. We created this data source in the previous video. I need to select the model which is product. I've selected the product model. Yes, I want default CRUD repository. Oops, I did not select the right model. Please press space to select. Let's do that again. I'm gonna press place. Yeah, space. You have to press the space on your laptop. Now you can see that it is going to select the default CRUD repository. Awesome. A new repository has created. This product repository will provide the CRUD operation like create record delete record find all or find one it is using this class default crud repository and you can see that this is the generic class you can provide the it has three types like duv something like that it could be duv product this default crud repository can use these three types product or type of product or prototype dot id and product relation and they have used this dependency injection this product repository is it is going to use this db data source which is our in memory data source it is going to provide the CRUD operation for this in memory data source for this product model it is going to call this super constructor by passing the product and the data source but where do we define our rest api endpoints we have to use the controller function basically we need a controller file i did not create any controller yet in the next video i'll talk more about the controllers